I'm Kelsey. This is my channel, The Fancy Hat Lady Reads. I'm wearing one of my fancy booktube hats, and today I'm bringing you my August TBR. It is August 2nd, so I kind of have to do this, even though I would really like to be filming more wrap-ups that I'm still very behind on. But August TBR! Um, in August, I will be participating in a very casual readathon called Arc August, which is hosted by the blog Read, Sleep, Repeat. I'll link the info down below. And basically, the whole point of Arc August is to read some ARCs, some advanced reader copies, during the month of August. Um, that's all you need to do to participate. There's a sign up on the blog. And I enjoyed doing this last August, even though I didn't do very well at it. Coming right off of Hugo voting, which just closed at the end of July, I had been cramming a bunch of last year's releases and Hugo nominated stuff up until the very last minute, and you know, this first half of the year I just haven't had a chance to read any of this year's releases. Awards season being part of that reason, but not the entire reason. And coming out of the awards season reading period and like looking around and breathing the fresh air and thinking, what is new? Can I read it? And I do have a bunch of arcs, both stuff that I had last year and then didn't get to because things went south in my personal life, and things that I got at Book Expo this year and haven't had a chance to even think about sinking my teeth into yet. So I have six arcs I'd like to read this month, um, two each of three different, like, categories. So the first category I have is uh, the 2019 releases that I had via NetGalley before the end of last year. Um, and still haven't gotten to. So I have two of these, one of which I have already started, and that is Amnesty by Laura Elena Donnelly, which is the third book in the Amberlo dossier. I am so pumped to be reading this, like, all the jazz hands. And then the other one that I'm so thrilled to finally have time to get to is The Bird King by G. Willow Wilson. Moving on then to things that I got this year at Book Expo. This was very hard to pick out just two that I want to read this month, but these are both September releases and they're two of the books that I was most excited about to get at Book Expo this year. The first is The Ten Thousand Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow, and the second is Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir, which has all the hype, even though it's not necessarily the thing that I would normally gravitate towards. Like, I am excited to get on the bandwagon with all of this hype. And then I have some other print arcs in my life from assorted places, um, and some of them are things that are long since released, uh, I think only one of them is something that is still forthcoming. So I've picked the two other print arcs that I had that I'm most excited to read. The first is one that was released long ago, and that is The Winter of the Witch by Catherine Arden. And then the other one is one that you haven't seen me haul yet because I got it in June. I think this was something that Thomas from SFF 180 got a duplicate of, and he knew I was anticipating this book, so he kindly sent me his duplicate, and this is A Choir of Lies by Alexandra Rowland, which is the sequel to A Conspiracy of Truths. So of all the other arcs I had on hand, these were my two most exciting ones, and they're also both 2019 releases. I feel a little bad that I'm not getting to some of my older arcs that I have had, like, for a long time just sitting around. But really what I want to do coming off of awards season is just start digging into this year's books. So that is six books that I want to read this month. Um, they are all some of my most anticipated books of 2019. There are some other things I'd like to read this month as well. Um, I had no time to continue making progress on The Bards of Bone Plain by Patricia A. McKillop in the month of July. This is one of my five-star TBR predictions, and I have not been making progress on my second batch of those, so this is something that I am still reading, and hopefully I will uh, keep going in it now that I'm done with, like, the Reading Rush and Hugo reading. Another thing that you may or may not be aware of is that I will, in fact, be going to Dublin for WorldCon this August. 
Um, I have never been to Ireland before, so I figured it was going to be a really good time to read the collection of Irish folk and fairy tales that I've had sitting on my shelf, primarily, like, just in case I ever really wanted to suddenly read a bunch of Irish folk and fairy tales, which is right now. This is a collection edited by Gordon Jarvie. As far as I can tell, it's not, like, an important particular collection of fairy tales. It's just a cheap mass market paperback. But I picked this up used a while ago for only one dollar, just in case, and now I'm glad I have it. I've had just enough of a chance to look at the Worldcon schedule to notice that they will in fact have some fairy tale related programming this year, a lot of which will possibly center around Irish fairy tales and folklore, and I'm just allowing myself to get excited for that. Three more books and then I'm done, I promise. Um, I have two books that are group reads for different Goodreads groups uh, that I'm a member of that I want to read this month. The first is The Sparrow by Mary Doria Russell, which is a sci-fi novel and it's the uh, August pick for the Lady Vaults book club, which I'll link down below. I have been unable to keep up with most of the Lady Vaults reading picks, so I have decided that my policy from now on with that group is that I will read any books they're reading that I already own copies of or are otherwise already on my TBR. Um, that just makes it easy for me to know which ones I'm going to go out of the way to read. This I have had a copy of for quite a while, um, and this is a good excuse to get to it. And then the other one that's a group read for a Goodreads group is for the Into the Forest group, which focuses on fairy tale, folklore, mythology books. I'll link that group down below as well, and they are currently reading The Fox Woman by Kidge Johnson. This is one of two books of hers that are historical fantasy set in, I think, 14th century Japan. I read Fudoki, which is the other one, quite some time ago, um, and have always been meaning to read The Fox Woman. Again, this is one I already owned at the time that it was chosen as a group pick for this group. This is a reading period that spanned from the middle of last month to the middle of next month. So even though I'd like to get to this one this month, even if I don't, I've still got a little time in September to get to it. And then the last book I really want to read is a library book that I need to return soon, and that's A Labyrinth of Science and Sorcery. Uh, which is the sequel to An Alchemy of Masks and Mirrors by Curtis Craddock. I have a full review of An Alchemy of Masks and Mirrors on this channel. I'll link it for you. These are slightly steampunkish fantasy set in a world that's inspired by 17th century Europe. This was, I think, released in January of this year, um, and I have run out of my renewals on this faster than other books that I have checked out from the library because it is a new release and the lending period uh, for new releases is shorter, even if I get the same number of renewals. I've been burning through those renewals faster on this one than on my other library books. So I do need to read this and return it kind of pronto. So that's it. That's my TBR for August. I will say that in terms of the ARC August reading, um, I am a little flexible in that. As I said, I do have quite a lot of choices. So I've tried to guess which of the ARCs I have are the ones that like I am the most pumped to read. But if my whims change, I will let my whims change. I mostly just want to get reading on these books I am most excited for. Anyhow, let me know if you've read any of these books or if you're planning to, let me know what you think. I hope you're having a nice day. That is all. Bye for now.